if, if we're going to ensure that the internet is fully beneficial or as incredibly beneficial to humanity as it can be, we're going to have to go head to head with, um, with, with the, the, these old industries and governments that are trying to hold it back. And we're going to have to do that both in the realm of, uh, of, of you know, existing institutions, like we're going to have to fight this in Congress, we're going to have to fight this in the courts, we're going to have to fight um, you know, electorally, but we're also going to have to think of new ways um, to fight that have nothing to do with these existing institutions. Um, what are the ways that we can create new structures that, that, cre that, that bring the world we want to see into being, right? Because we want to always be able to depend on Congress doing the right thing. And the other really important thing that we're working on is trying to, um, is trying to change the way people think about these issues. You know, I mean, uh, is when someone sings a song on YouTube that, that was written by another artist and they're singing and dancing and, and expressing themselves that way, is that freedom of expression or is that stealing? I mean, we think it's pretty clearly freedom of expression, but there's a lot of people who are on the fence about these things uh, for good reasons, and we need to articulate, um, articulate what's so special about, for example, you know, YouTube remix videos and cover songs or dance videos, and, and why that, uh, type of, that, that type of cultural expression needs to be protected and balanced with, um, with, with the, 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 the rights given to people under copyright law. Um, so that, that, that sort of battle of ideas is really important as well.